Snow removal is critical to roadway maintenance in urban areas. In Edmonton recently, 14 removal crews worked long shifts, clearing main roads and residential areas, ultimately adding to the growing mountains of cleared snow at five city storage locations. Well, it's Bob Dunford from the city of Edmonton. Talking snow removal. Hi, Bob. Nice to see you again. Good to see you, Tim. It's quite a snow pile you're building over here. Well, yeah, it's not the biggest one, but it's getting there. <laughs> yeah, it's a beauty. This is our newest one, and it's uh, to serve the northeast quadrant of the city. Currently, uh, we have completed uh, construction of the first stage of it, which has a 600,000 cubic meter capacity. In this snow removal travelogue, it starts with the snow plows, giant snow blowers, and large box dump trucks. Basically, the graders will come along first, and they will pull the uh, windrow uh, out from the curb enough that the snowblower can get at it. Now, this snowblower will come along, and they will blow it into the uh, trucks that you saw. And you notice on the side of the trucks that the one side has got a uh, buildup of snowboards on it, and we specify a height that we want. The idea is the snowblower blows into the truck and has the boards kind of as a backer for the blowing in. Now, how much do the, each of these trucks carry? Well, uh, for our snow crews, we like to use the uh, tractor trailer units, the end dumps. And in this case, uh, most of them will haul between 35 uh, and uh, 38 cubic meters. Bob says the city has an overall snow removal budget of over $50 million. Eventually, these snow piles might range up to almost a million cubic meters, 25 meters high. When we bring it to the site, uh, the trucks, of course, will dump it at the base of the pile, and the cats will push it up uh, to make the pile that you see behind me. Now, the pile is, uh, the shape and even the orientation of the pile is important to uh, the snow storage site management. Uh, the principle of snow storage site is, first of all, you want to have something that controls the, uh, the melt one. We plan the pile so that it's oriented so that we get the uh, maximum effect from the sun when we actually start melting the, the snow in the spring and summer. On and on it goes, one load after another. Bus routes, snow removal, to put it into some context, um, that is just those uh, bus routes. That is about a 15 working day um, program with 10 snow crews. So if you look at any one of those snow crews, is um, you know they're moving probably in the range of uh, you know four to five thousand cubic meters a day. So it's it's a lot of snow coming and going. And naturally, all residents and drivers are asked for common sense courtesy when the crews arrive. This is Tim Dancy.